This is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning, everyone. Glad to have you with us on this Wednesday. I'm Jacqueline Matter. I'm Ray Collins. May the 10th. Glad you're here. And John says another uh, dry and a little windy day out there, huh, John? Yeah, and uh, dry, windy, red flag warnings are up. No rain in the forecast. Hot with the daytime high up near 90. Yesterday we hit 90, which is a... Uh, Pretty unusual for this time of year. Actually, it was a funny thing. I, I mentioned this earlier. Our daytime high was well above average. Our morning low was well below average. So if you look at the average for the day, we were kind of right in the center. <laughs> So uh, I think this afternoon we'll probably see temperatures that are more mm, July-like than they are this time of year. Uh, we're looking at uh, little chance of rainfall, low humidities in the afternoon, and the winds picking up, as you mentioned. That's why all across the west coast of Florida, red flag warnings are up. Not a drop of rain falling anywhere in the state. Sunshine today. UV indexes again high. Wear that SPF 30 or better sunscreen to protect yourself. And over the course of the afternoon, we'll see those temperatures climb. We'll have the complete forecast for you coming up in just a few. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Well, this is strange. 301 has now switched to another spot there, just south of State Road 70 in the uh, southbound lane before just the opposite last hour. Also, uh, checking the map, South County, uh, Fruitville rather has a slowdown between Honore and Kettleman. And the final map will show us uh, perhaps a couple delays on 41. Yeah, there's one right there around Nokomis, otherwise all clear on this morning. Topping our news this half hour, reaction continues following President Trump's decision to fire the director of the FBI, James Comey. Yes, yeah, some are surprised, some are not. The question is now, who will the president choose next? The FBI is going to answer to the new director. As shockwaves rocked the political world after the firing of FBI Director James Comey, speculation abounds over who will replace him. Former New York Mayor Rudy Giuliani would likely be among the president's top choices, but Giuliani's vocal support for Trump during the campaign and his clear partisan preferences would make Senate confirmation nearly impossible. Then there's New Jersey governor and former Republican presidential candidate Chris Christie. Like Giuliani, he previously served as a U.S. prosecutor, but also like Giuliani, Christie has a clear partisan bent. One person who could possibly get bipartisan support, former New York Police Commissioner Ray Kelly, who was mentioned as a possibility for FBI director under President Bill Clinton, a Democrat. Another bipartisan possibility is John Pistol, who held positions in both Democratic and Republican administrations. Perhaps one of the easiest picks for Trump would be Andrew McCabe, currently working as the acting FBI director. Also in question, the future of the FBI's investigation into allegations of collusion between Russia and the Trump campaign in the 2016 election. I think it is not at all clear that uh, this investigation will continue. CNN senior political analyst and former federal prosecutor Jeffrey Tubin speaking to concerns about possible conflicts of interest regarding Trump's pick. It will be someone who is loyal to Donald Trump. I'm Reed Binion reporting. And the replacement timing remains at this point unclear. Happening today in Washington, President Trump will meet with Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov at the White House. This will be the highest level of contact between the president and the Russian government since taking office. One White House official said the agenda would include Syria, U.S.-Russian relations, and also a wide range of other global issues. In Arizona, police say they have a suspect in a string of nine random street shootings that terrorized a Phoenix neighborhood back in 2016 that left seven people dead. Investigators say the suspect is 23-year-old Aaron Saucedo. He's already in custody on unrelated murder charges. He's accused of killing his mother's boyfriend back in 2015, which is a charge he denies. Saucedo was rebooked in a county jail for 26 additional felony counts, including multiple counts of homicide, aggravated assault, and drive-by shootings. The serial killer went on his rampage last year between March and July, standing outside the victim's own homes and cars. The youngest victim, a 12-year-old girl. Back to politics again. Jurors will try again this morning to reach a verdict. In the corruption case of a former Jacksonville congressperson named Corrine Brown, she faces 22 federal charges, including mail fraud, concealing material facts, and filing false tax returns. Prosecutors say she funneled money from her scholarship foundation into personal accounts and lied in her tax return. As for Brown, she says she appreciates any support she gets. You know, the community has been wonderful. You know, the people praying and... You know, we're going through it together. 
Brown served in Congress from 1993 until she was indicted last summer. Happening today in the Sunshine State, the Secretary of Education expected to speak at a Florida university, but not everyone wants to hear what she has to say. Bethune-Cookman University in Daytona Beach received more than 50,000 petitions yesterday, asking school officials to reconsider letting Education Secretary Betsy DeVos speak. The historically black university invited DeVos to its keynote commencement ceremony, but the petitions given to the university read in part that having DeVos speak at the commencement ceremony is an insult to the BCU graduating class. Um, I don't think it's too late. Um, I think we have been in con um, we have been trying to get contact from Dr. Jackson and the Board of Trustees since we found out about this information. If the university does not withdraw DeVos's invite to speak, the group said hundreds plan to protest during her speech. In Tallahassee, Governor Scott is criticizing fellow Republicans over that new state budget. He's sending more mixed signals that he may veto the entire $83 billion plan and force lawmakers back to Tallahassee for a special session. He is calling the budget a backroom deal that makes families think politics is nothing more than a game. He is at odds with legislators because they cut funding for programs that Scott says are needed for jobs. By the way, more than 3,000 bills were filed during the session. 250 passed. That's the second lowest in the past 17 years. One measure that lawmakers did approve this session, a pair of three-day sales tax holidays. Parents will once again get a back-to-school shopping sales tax holiday from August 4th through the 6th. During those days, shoppers will not have to pay sales taxes on clothes, backpacks, and footwear that cost less than $60. Also, school supplies that cost less than $15. And personal computers and school accessories valued at less than $750. A hurricane season tax holiday also set for June 2nd through the 4th. It will give shoppers a break on items like radios, first aid kits, battery packs, and portable generators. A recall alert this morning at Publix. The company is recalling its deli artichoke and spinach dip for possible small glass fragments that could be in the 16-ounce containers. They were sold in Florida, Georgia, the Carolinas, Alabama, Tennessee. So far, no reports of any injuries. NBA Hall of Fame Shaquille O'Neal says he wants to run for sheriff. Even though he's been joked about running for office in the past, Shaq seems serious, at saying that he plans to run in 2020. He says he could run in Henry County, Georgia, where he has a house, or in Florida. O'Neill says he aspires to be in law enforcement to help forge better relationships between communities and police. O'Neill is keeping it simple for now on his campaign slogan, simply saying, Shaq for Sheriff. <laughs> this is an election we obviously cannot wait to see. And America will soon see a whole new side of our siesta key, MTV is videotaping a show focusing on the lives of teens who are back home after their first year in college. They ran an ad for the new show over the weekend on MTV, teasing from the hills to the beach. Welcome to Siesta Key. The network has yet to confirm any storyline details. The ad Sunday says the show will premiere in July. And um, I know we want local production here, but some are surprised that Siesta Key and the county would want that kind of image here. Yeah, well, I don't know what kind of tone they're going to take with this story. No. You know how they're how they're going to approach it, but there 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 is a um, a problem at uh, a time on Siesta Key with some of the revelers that uh, are down I've, there. I've seen some uh, comments saying this could become the next Jersey Shore, essentially. So that, that's, <laughs> a, sure that's a little goal. interesting. That's so. their goal. It's not going to be library based. Yeah, <laughs> they're not going to be at the library, I probably. Don't think that's so. for sure. Yeah. No. Well, let's oh, keep well. our fingers crossed that it all works out well <laughs> in the end. We have uh, across the region some pretty warm weather. Red flag warnings up for the entire area. High fire danger. We'll talk about that coming up in a few. All right, thanks, John. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, we'll tell you why the FBI is getting involved in a local civil rights case causing big controversy after this. It took a lot of work and dedication for seven teachers to start our credit union and create a foundation that we continue to build on today. At Achieva, we never lose sight of the values that have defined us for over 75 years. And that's good to know. Achieva, banking for good. Check out mysuncoast.com slash dining, your guide to the foodie lifestyle.
If you've ever had a bad night's sleep, call and price the new Craftmatic Legacy. It has so much more than other adjustables and still costs up to 50% less. Featuring a rising adjustable pillow rest to support your head, neck, and shoulders, bedside power plugs, under bed night lights, and more. So call and price one today for less, up to 50% less than Tempur-Pedic Sleep Number and other adjustables. You get so much more and it still costs less. You've got to see how little they cost. Call 1-800-774-8103. That's 1-800-774-8103. Call now. You only have one life. Are you gambling with it? One in three adults have high blood pressure. Not knowing your numbers could cause you to lose big time. Luckily, you can turn the odds in your favor by getting your blood pressure checked today. Don't leave your health to chance. Learn more at heart.org slash HPB. I heard about the Detoli Cancer Center through friends of mine who had been treated here and were very pleased with the treatment. If there is prostate cancer, we at the Detoli Cancer Center will find it using 3D color flow Doppler ultrasound. And that helped precisely identify where my cancer was. I can tell you that you will not find a finer, more professional team of clinicians anywhere in the world. It's no small wonder anybody loves it all. I just love art that moves me. No small I mean really moves me. One. Sunset Fiat of Sarasota presents No Small Wonder. High performance style. Let the art of Fiat move you. Is your old garage door stuck or broken? Would a new one give you a lift? Let Precision Door Overhead Garage Door Service of Sarasota come to the rescue with prompt and affordable repair service. Replacement doors come with an array of styles and colors, and they are rated to meet and exceed Florida standards. From estimates to installation, your satisfaction is our priority. If you're not 100% satisfied with any product, service, or installation, we will make it right, because Precision Door Service is a name you can trust. It took a lot of work and dedication for seven teachers to start our credit union and create a foundation that we continue to build on today. At Achieva, we never lose sight of the values that have defined us for over 75 years. And that's good to know. Achieva, banking for good. Now, the official Sun Coast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Looking at very dry weather across the Sun Coast again today. High temperatures in the afternoon, more reminiscent of the 4th of July than of Mother's Day. 70 degrees, the current air temperature. We have a dew point value coming in at 62. Calm winds currently will switch west in the afternoon as the sea breeze forms and become a bit breezy, adding to the high fire danger across the region. 65 degrees, Wachula, Arcadia coming in at 66, 66, Mayaka, Parrish, Bradenton, 68, Lakewood Ranch, closer to the coast, closer to the 70s. We have 73, Longbow Key, Sarasota coming in at 70, 70 in Venice, 71 in Inglewood. The relative humidities will be low this afternoon, but the amount of moisture in the air will be slightly higher than it was 24 hours ago. Uh, the reason for that is we've had this uh, deep sea breeze coming in over the last uh, several afternoons, and that's increased the amount of moisture in the air. But by afternoon, with temperatures as warm as they are, that will matter little in terms of the relative humidities being low enough to trigger red flag warnings for the area and high fire danger. That means a fire weather watch has also been issued for our area, meaning that conditions are very ripe across the Sun Coast for fires to start and spread in a rapid fashion. No rain falling anywhere across the region. Radar dry this morning, and it will be all afternoon. Deep south, in fact, looks very quiet. You can almost make out kind of a, 
a, a gyre in the uh, in the pattern of the rainfall on radar right now, kind of spinning around the state of Florida. That's because of that big high pressure ridge basically sitting right on top of us now, bringing us those light winds and making a situation that's conducive for uh, a sea breeze to form in the afternoon. Low pressure areas move along a stalled frontal boundary north of us, but never really make it into our region for several more days. Now, eventually a cold front will approach and that will bring us a slight chance of a shower on Saturday. But honestly, that front is just going to wash away before it really has much success in providing us certainly with any cooler temperatures and not much success in producing any rainfall either. Slow moisture increase, no rain, cooler near the coast with the sea breeze forming. You can already see that kind of spin in the atmosphere due to that high pressure ridge. Forecast for today calls for warm temperatures, very warm temperatures. Get up close to the 90 mark. Usually the first day when we have an average temperature of 90, it's right around the 4th of July. So we're running daytime highs about 6 degrees above warm uh, average. But we're also on the cool side during the mornings, or at least have been, because the air has been so dry and the sky is so clear. So that allows the night times to cool off a little bit under fairly calm winds. That will probably change as our morning temperatures get closer and closer to becoming uh, warm. And that will be true right straight through the beginning of next work week. Slight, slight chance of showers on Saturday, and then everything clears out in time for Mother's Day. Back to you. All right, thank you so much, John. Taking a look at traffic this morning in Sarasota County. Some traffic picking up throughout Clark Road, Bee Ridge Road, and Fruitville Road. Also 41 towards the Gulf Gate area. As we head into South County, looks like some congestion towards Venice. But other than that, no accidents across the Sun Coast on your Wednesday. Well, the local chapter of the NAACP has filed a civil rights complaint with the FBI against a Manatee County Sheriff's deputy. As Bo Beth Yates tells us, it began with a traffic stop and ended with an arrest. I heard a knock on the door, bam, 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 bam. Ricky Williams is describing the night of December 5th, 2016, when a Manatee County Sheriff's deputy paid him an unexpected visit. All of a sudden he said, do you have a red sweater? I said, no. He said, uh... Do you have an uh, ID? I said, yes, my identification is in the room. And he said, uh, can you go get it? And I said, yes. And as I turned to get my identification, Officer Wren came through the screen, tearing through all of this, came in my house, grabbed me, drug me outside, body slammed me on the ground here. Williams was arrested for obstruction of justice. According to the Manatee County Sheriff's Office incident report, Detective Wren had just completed a traffic stop where the passenger ran off. That person's description, black male with dreads. Mr. Williams happens to be black and have dreads, and um, the, the person that they were chasing had on flip-flops. So I guess if you're black and you have dreads, you run the risk of being arrested. The incident resulted in an MCSO misconduct complaint. During the investigation, the K-9 deputy, who was also on scene, stated the K-9 did not track to the doorway the subject was in. The K-9 deputy's interview went on to say the dog tracked the suspect to another yard and over a fence. As a result, the internal investigation sustained the misconduct complaint on allegations of neglect of duty. The report read in part, Detective Rand's actions was based on an unlawful stop and detention based on vague suspect description. The report went on to say the circumstances surrounding the arrest are void of any malicious or intentional ill will and can be attributed to the lack of knowledge concerning criminal law procedures. The detective was reprimanded with a suspension of 25.8 unpaid hours. But Manatee County NAACP President Rodney Jones isn't happy. For us, it was quite stunning that you would be able to basically assault someone, false arrest, conspire a charge to get him arrested and then get 25 hours off from work and not in the sheriff's department refuse to um, address the issue of the civil rights violation uh, uh, with uh, Deputy Ring going into the home. In addition to the allegations of a civil rights violation, William says he's battling prostate cancer and during the arrest he had to be taken to the hospital. When he grabbed me out of my house, I was like, oh, he's going to kill me. They got away with it. As far as I'm concerned, I didn't do anything wrong. I'm not happy about that because these same people that did this to me are still out there. Bo Beth Yates, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. The uh, sheriff's office declined comment on the case. The charges against Williams were eventually dropped 
An FBI civil rights complaint has been filed. No word yet about the progress of that complaint. Still ahead on Good Morning Suncoast. Several incidents on airlines around the country now stirring up some conversation among travelers. But what's to come? We'll have that story next. How's everybody doing? I'm Chef Bob Vitello, and this is Chef Alan Briscoe. How you doing? What do you got going for us today, big guy? Well, today we're doing some shrimp tacos with a little chipotle seasoning, some fresh onion, some avocado that we're going to put into a salsa verde. So it's going to be really good. So what we got right here is just got some of these beautiful cilantro lime shrimp that we sell here at Publix. Are those come frozen? They come frozen. I knew that. I just want to make sure you yeah. guessed it. And so we're going to add this beautiful <laughs> mixture of seasoning right here. We're going to give that just a little toss. It's a nice, easy dish, very simple. What is that stuff you put on there? It's a little chipotle uh, seasoning, a chipotle garlic seasoning, actually. It's really good. It's got a great flavor. It's great on fish or shrimp or chicken. So it's got a great cross utilization. Cool. So what we're going to do is. That was a big word, buddy. That's what I'm working that was on a it. Big I'm word, telling man. you. <laughs> Mom's happy with my college education. So what we're going to do is turn it What are you doing here? I'm working with you, my friend. I'm working I'm with you. So what we got is shrimp. You want to let them cook three or four minutes. They really come nice. Don't let them cook too long. If you let them cook too long, they tend to get a little bit tough on you. So now we're just going to plate this up real quick. We just put the shrimp in one of these little soft tortilla shells here. It smells good. Alan. We put a little grill mark on that tortilla shell. We're going to add a little salsa to it, a little, excuse me, a little queso to it. We're going to add a little onion to it, and we're going to add a little bit of our salsa to it, which has a little bit of avocado, which we grab right here. We throw it around a little bit, put it on here, top that, just like that. That looks good. And there's man. our shrimp dish for the day. Dude. I mean, I don't even know what to say. We're gonna have to eat those, and uh, I'm ready. And I think the recipe has another recipe, well, one other one on it too. But Alan made you this one. Starting tomorrow, be sure to stop by your Publix Apron Simple Meals kiosk, pick up the recipe card and all the ingredients after sampling this delicious dish. Thank you, Bob. You're quite welcome. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Outdoor living is one of the greatest perks about living in Florida. So whether this is your style, or this, or maybe this, contact Superior Pools. They've been building pools from Sarasota to Naples since 2001, and they would love to build yours. At Tidewell Hospice, we know it's never too late to say thank you to our military veterans. The Tidewell Honors Veterans Program has provided care to more than 13,000 military families since 2008. Tidewell volunteers help honor veterans through special pinning ceremonies that demonstrate our appreciation for the freedom our veterans fought to defend. If you know a veteran who can benefit from end-of-life care, call or visit Tidewell.org today. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. Since 2004, Embracing Our Differences has used the power of art and education to promote diversity. One way it accomplishes this is through its annual outdoor exhibition of 45 billboard-sized works of art, each accompanied by an inspirational quote. Join us in creating a community that is inclusive for all, where differences are embraced and individuality is celebrated. We invite you to celebrate the voices and visions of diversity and inclusion at this year's exhibit at Sarasota's Island Park. 
It's Lincoln's summer sales event here at Alex Karras Lincoln. Drive a brand new 2017 Lincoln MKC Sports Utility for $249 per month or 2017 MKZ for $299 per month. We are proud to introduce the newest addition to the Lincoln lineup, the all-new 2017 Lincoln Continental. We have a great selection and ready for immediate delivery. Alex Karras Lincoln, affordable luxury, winner of the prestigious 2015 President's Award, serving Florida's Sun Coast since 1978. We are located two miles north of the Sarasota Bradenton Airport on US-41. There's never been a better time to call California Closets. Now during our Finish Upgrade event, save up to 20% when you upgrade to an Italian-inspired wood grain finish. Contact us for your free design consultation today. Visit our showroom or online at californiaclosets.com. We're waking up today with some new uh, commissioners-elect, both in Sarasota and in Northport. We'll be talking live to the new Northport commissioner-elect, Jill Luke. She'll be in our studios in about 15 minutes. So make sure you catch that. And also tomorrow we'll talk to Hagen Brody, one of the two new Sarasota commissioners-elect. We'll have full results for you in about five minutes. Welcome back, 625. Glad you're with us. Well, several ugly recent incidents during flights or in airports have plenty of Americans wondering what in the world is going on with air travel lately. Yeah, so what is next? Diane Macedo has an idea. In this morning's GMA first look, a fight on a Southwest jet that just landed in Burbank. A flight attendant tries to stop it, calls out for help, and then suddenly she's slammed to the floor. I see the stewardess trapped below, in between the seats, on the ground, and she was being pummeled at the same time as the other guy was being pummeled. That incident comes just a day after this Monday meltdown at Fort Lauderdale Airport. Police called it a near riot when Spirit Airlines canceled a large number of flights again. Oh my God. So with this, passengers being dragged off planes and battles between airline staff and passengers, has something fundamentally changed in our flying experience? We have the latest on the chaos in the skies coming up at 7 a.m. With your GMA First Look, I'm Diane Macedo, ABC News, New York. Just press clean and let Roomba from iRobot help with your everyday messes. Roomba navigates your entire home, cleaning up pet hair and debris for up to two hours, which means your floors are always clean. You and Roomba from iRobot, better together. The bathroom. When things go wrong here, you remember. Quilted Northern is designed to work so well, you can forget your bathroom trips. But Daddy Gator can never forget. I got a motor out of here. This is no place to raise a child. It's late. It's an all-nighter. Are you gonna get asleep? Got a little all-nighter refuel. Look at that joy and excitement. If you're trying to balance caring for your mother and being a mother to your children, we can help. It's what we do. Call Granny Nannies today. A helping hand and a gentle heart. The official Suncoast Storm Team at ABC7. We're here for you. Drive into Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota and discover big savings during the Drive and Discover event. Come shop the Suncoast's largest selection of Ram trucks. Get maximum cargo space and more comfort with a new Ram quad cab for as low as $24,999. Or get more legroom and maximum comfort with a new Ram crew cab and save up to $10,000. Better prices, bigger selection. Go to Sunset Dodge Chrysler Jeep Ram in Sarasota. Since 1928, Karistan has been setting the standard in carpets and rugs producing non-allergenic wools that won't promote the growth of bacteria or dust mites like other carpets will. Karistan wools actively remove contaminants from the indoor air, making your home healthier. And there are many colors and patterns and textures to choose from. Come see for yourself. So many possibilities worth exploring. Minnesota flooring. There's a whole new way to bank at Achieva Credit Union with Achieva Checking Plus. Get new unique features like full ID theft protection and online shopping rewards. Plus, it's an interest-bearing account, so you have a little extra for what really matters. 
Achieve a Checking Plus isn't just an account for your money, it's for your life, including cell phone insurance. And that's good to know. Discover the plus at AchievaCU.com. Achieva, banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Going on now. For every two windows you buy, get one more free. Call today. Hi, I'm Chef Judy. Every Wednesday morning, I'll be with the chefs at the Publix Aprons Cooking School serving up the most wonderful dishes. Watch Aprons in the Kitchen every Wednesday on ABC 7's Good Morning Suncoast. Are you Goodwill? Yes, because when I donate or shop at Goodwill, I am creating a job. I am Goodwill, yeah, yeah. My dad is my hero, and I wanted to give him a chance to live life and be happy. Granny Nanny's has been a huge help. It has contributed to the health and happiness of my dad, for sure. A helping hand and a gentle heart. Coming up on Good Morning Sun Coast, the elections for Sarasota and Northport are over. We'll tell you who's waking up as your new commissioners. Plus, we're learning new details about what caused a van to go in the water in Venice, killing two people. And jury selection for a Manatee County triple murder case expected to end today. We'll tell you what Andres Avalos could face if he's convicted. Your Suncoast News starts right now. Live from the ABC 7 studios, this is Good Morning Suncoast. We're here for you. Good morning. Look at that. We wow, caught it. Wow, that is beautiful. Love that, John. We, we call that full moon over Longboat Key. <laughs> Gorgeous. We need a shot of that. <laughs> <laughs> That's a postcard. Yeah, I'm going to have to tweet that out and put it on Facebook so people who mm -hmm. are around the country can be able to see that that are following us. You are the social media queen <laughs> for us. Love that. 631. Glad you're with us. I'm Ray Collins. And I'm Jacqueline Matter. Let's check in with John Scalzi. What, what's going on with that moon? Pretty clear out there. It's very clear. Uh, the flower moon, it's called. Interesting. Because of all the flowers Flower. in May. You know. It's also called the uh, time to plant your corn moon or <laughs> oh, something that like that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> so, something right. like that. Very catchy. Yeah. Uh, I know. Uh, yeah, it's beautiful <laughs> outside right now. Absolutely deep blue skies. You know, sun just rising. A gorgeous, gorgeous start to the morning. However, it is dry. Although the the amount of moisture in the air has risen a little bit since yesterday and made it a little more humid, it's still by the afternoon going to be very dry because our daytime high temperatures are so warm. Yesterday we hit 90. We're going to get pretty close to that again today and consequently fire danger is high. A fire weather watch is up for our entire area as is a red flag warning, meaning the likelihood of a fire starting anywhere in that area seen in red on our current map is high and the chance of it rapidly spreading is also high. So we're all cautioned to be very careful with fire today. Titan radar now showing a drop of rain around and lots of sunshine in the forecast for you as our satellite view doesn't show uh, any cloud really over the state. Daytime high skin top out warm. We'll have the complete forecast for you coming up in just a few, Rick. All right, talk to you soon. Thank you, John. Suncoast Roads right now pretty clear. A little buildup on 301 northbound as you head toward downtown Braden. Otherwise, all clear in Manatee County. A few slowdowns there in Sarasota County on Fruitville Road heading toward the interstate. You'll see a slowdown at Tuttle and Beneva and also later on at Cattleman as well. Bee Ridge, both directions slow due to the ongoing construction project there. And then down toward South Venice, a slowdown just south of Business 41. Topping our news this half hour, you're waking up now to two new commissioners elect in Sarasota and one new one in the city of Northport. In Sarasota, Jennifer Ahern Koch, Hagen Brody, and Martin Hyde vying for the two at large seats. Unofficial results show Ahern Koch and Brody as the winners of that election. Brody receiving 44% and Ahern Koch receiving 35% of the vote. Our Rick Adams has more on reactions from last night's election. It was a very big night for Hagen Brody and Jennifer Ahern Koch. They came out victorious on Election Day Tuesday and are now the newest members of the Sarasota City Commission, filling the two at-large seats. It was a celebratory atmosphere Tuesday night at Brody's party downtown. I'm very excited. I mean, the City Commission is a platform to make a 
huge difference in the course of this city. This is a city that I grew up in. This is a city that I care deeply about. Jennifer A. Hearn Koch could not be reached for comment. It was a much different story for Martin Hyde, though. He tells us he was grateful for the experience, but he says he was expecting much different results. I got thumped. I mean, uh, I didn't anticipate that. I, uh, I thought that uh, I ran a campaign on instinct from the heart. Um, it clearly wasn't where Sarasota was at this time. Voter turnout for this election broke 20 percent, making it bigger than the election back in March. The provisional ballots will be counted Thursday afternoon at 5 o'clock, which would then make the election official. Sarasota County's Supervisor of Elections, Ron Turner, says everything went very smoothly at his office and at the 18 different polling sites throughout the city of Sarasota. We're certainly seeing some increase, and that's a good sign. And I would say there are no small elections. Uh, these elections are every bit as important. And that's what brought out Fred Heine to the polls today. He's been a Sarasota resident now for 25 years. All the things that are going on in this town, uh, it's hard for me to keep up with them, and I want to be sure there's good people that's recommending these these projects. As for Hagen Brody, he says he's looking forward to getting to work on some of the issues that are most important to him and the city. The homeless issue and um, traffic, you know, but I think overarching and, and, and above all is really bringing back the um, understanding or at least the belief that the city commission can um, tackle some of these issues. In Sarasota, I'm Rick Adams, ABC 7, your Suncoast News. The swearing-in ceremony for Ahern Koch and Brody will be on Friday, starting at noon. On to Northport now. Two candidates were on a race for seat four in city commission. Jill Luke is the winner. 53% over Pete Emmerich, who had 47% of the vote. We're happy now to be joined by the new commissioner-elect of Northport, Jill Luke. How does that sound, commissioner-elect? Strange, but I like the title. <laughs> yeah, what, what emotion are you feeling this morning? Uh, honored. Honored and humbled. Very much so. It was a long job interview, wasn't it? It was. Seven months. <laughs> seven months. And I wasn't working. I was rolling my sleeves up preparing for the job. So Now, speaking I'm of ready. jobs, you've had a long history in the private sector and senior management. Uh, 25 years of mid and upper level management. I believe that was part of the deciding factors of winning the election. It was probably that. And my experience in volunteerism within the community. Your opponent, Pete Emmerich, had a background in uh, city uh, government as far as landscaping and so forth. The, em you think the employment of the city. Yes. Right. And you think that your private sector experience was what put you over the top with voters in Northport. I do. The, the business experience, uh, the budget writing, uh, the community, but also because of working with the chambers and the boards and that that I sit on. I bring in the resource in, of business partnerships, you know, relationships throughout the entire region. Now, one of the biggest issues you're going to face, of course, is the Atlanta Braves looking to move to Northport. That is exciting, very exciting, not just for Northport, but for the entire county. I mean, a, a county with two ball stadiums, I mean, that's, that's incredible. Sarasota's really got a lot going for sports. I, I sat on Visit Sarasota County representing the Northport area, so it was, was involved in their marketing council, the, the re, you know, redo of everything. Right. And it's wonderful, so it's great for the entire county. So d does Northport have the infrastructure to support this oncoming flood? West Village is very new, and we are trying to get that infrastructure in there. It is probably the largest uh, issue that we're going to have to tackle with bringing them in, but excited to do so because it's going to bring so much to the community. We're, we're small as far as business goes in that. 67% of the businesses in Northport are home-based businesses. Yeah. So this will help to enhance that even more. Last question, of course, the city of Northport owns Warm Mineral Springs. Mm -hmm. It's quite a tourist attraction down there. There are some who think that the city shouldn't own such a, such a place, that instead it should be owned by the private sector. Uh, I don't believe personally myself government should be in the business of business, but we do own it. So you enhance it and make it the best that it can be. It's a very historical, I mean worldwide historical. Mm -hmm. So to preserve it, make it unique, feature what it is, which is history, 
and enhance it. And I believe it's a destination. All right. Well, Jill Luke, congratulations. You're sworn in on Friday in Northport. 930. All right. We'll be there. Thank and, you. I appreciate it. And thanks for being here as well. Oh, no. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Jeff. All right. Well, a follow-up this morning on an accident that killed two people after a van drove off the South Jetty in Venice on Monday afternoon. The victims have been identified as 64-year-old Carol Hayden and her father, 88-year-old Eugene Hayden. The tragedy was all caught on camera in a video shared by the Venice Police Department, but we do warn you, some of it may be difficult to watch. Several witnesses dove in in an attempt to save the Haydens, who were stuck inside that van. The current was too swift, making the van become fully submerged within three minutes after going into the waters. The Venice Police Department says before the van went into the water, it hit a bench, backed up, and then drove over the edge of the jetty. They were frozen with fear, but they were definitely trying to get out. I'd like the family to know that they certainly did everything they could to try to get out. The community where Eugene Hayden lived will be holding a press conference today. They'll be giving more insight into who the man and his daughter were. The accident is still under investigation. And we're also learning more about what led to a man's death on a raft off the coast of Casperson Beach on Monday. Deputies say 44-year-old Bradley Blake of Sarasota was snorkeling and freediving for shark's teeth with a woman about a quarter of a mile offshore. Emergency crews received a distress call after the raft, about the raft rather, around noon. Once the two were rescued, efforts to revive Blake were unsuccessful. The medical examiner's office says drowning is the preliminary cause of his death. The woman was taken to a nearby hospital to be treated for shock. Residents and business owners in the city of Bradenton Beach are packing City Hall. It was only recently that noise concerns in the city have escalated. Live entertainment at the Freckled Finn restaurant located downtown resulted in numerous complaints from local residents since the beginning of this year. One complaint even leading to the misdemeanor arrest of the restaurant's owner. Many business owners say the noise ordinance is hurting their business year round and Bradenton Beach Commission have decided they will have another workshop for a further discussion. And while the Sun Coast is still dangerously dry, Manatee County is once again extending its burn ban. The burn ban has been extended another seven days and will now be in place until May 16th. Wildfires continue to break out throughout our Sunshine State and we are at a high risk for wildfires. Governor Rick Scott has declared a state of emergency because of that fire threat. Now in Manatee County, fireworks, sparklers, campfires and open burning are temporarily banned. Sarasota and Charlotte counties also have similar bans. A follow-up now on a Manatee County triple murder trial. Jury selection for Andres Avalos should wrap up today or the latest tomorrow. The judge says the trial should take three weeks. Avalos is accused of killing his wife, Amber, her friend Denise Potter, and Pastor Trip Battle back in December of 2014. If convicted, Avalos could face the death penalty. An update on a case involving the police chief in Punta Gorda facing charges in the death of a woman being during a Citizens Police Training Academy. A judge is denying Tom Lewis's request to dismiss the culpable negligence charge filed against him. The charge was filed in connection to the fatal shooting of 73-year-old Mary Knowlton. Punta Gorda police officer Lee Coel shot her during a role-playing demonstration last August. He was terminated from the department. Meanwhile, Chief Lewis is still on administrative leave. His trial set to begin on June 23rd. And happening today, one of the biggest job fairs of the year on the Sun Coast. Representatives from Manatee County Departments will be discussing job opportunities in a variety of fields. They are coming prepared to schedule interviews, even make job offers on the spot, pending, of course, a background check and drug screening. Current job vacancies include bus operators, 911 emergency dispatchers, industrial electricians, and paramedics. The expo is this afternoon at the Bradenton Area Convention Center starting at 2 p.m. Lots of jobs out there, John Scalzi. Yes, good news from the Labor Department this week. So, uh, you know, good night and look for a job. Right. We have uh, some bad weather out there in terms of fire danger, though. Uh, very high fire danger today. A uh, fire weather watch has been issued. We'll talk about that. And also still to come, you might be surprised where most of our salt intake comes from. We'll tell you what a new study looked at and what they found coming up. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and service
andservices.com. I'm Alan Cohn. New name, same controversy. The Long Bar Point Project is now aqua by the bay, but critics still call it an environmental disaster. Tonight on ABC 7 News at 7, your Suncoast News. We're here for you. During the past 10 years, Tidewell Hospice volunteers have provided more than 1 million hours of service. They sit with patients, giving caregivers a break. They work in offices. They take their furry friends on pet therapy visits. They even clown around. Every task performed by a volunteer makes a difference in the lives of our patients and their families. Join Tidewell's volunteer team. They're truly one in a million. Tidewell Hospice, it's more than you think. Today, everyone is looking for more fashionable choices in flooring than ever before. And G. Freed has responded with a huge selection of carpets, tile, wood, laminate, and vinyl. Installed by a highly skilled team, G. Freed has got everything you're looking for and more. The next time you think about quality flooring, think G. Freed Flooring America. G. Freed Flooring America. Our world is at your feet. They're coming from Tampa, Fort Myers, even Orlando. They're coming from everywhere for the Sarasota Ford Promise. Our promise means a new car you'll love. If not, return it for one you do. At Sarasota Ford, we promise live market pricing. We monitor national pricing on our entire inventory so you get the best deal. In fact, we guarantee it. Bring us any competitor's ad and we'll beat it by at least $1,000. That's why they're coming from everywhere to Sarasota Ford, where 41 meets 301. SarasotaFord.com. With all the furniture choices you have, where do you shop? How about Bacon's Furniture and Bedding? Now available in Sarasota. Treat yourself to a new Beauty Sleep Queen mattress set starting at only $3.99 and save up to $800 off an adjustable base with your mattress purchase. Find huge Memorial Day discounts of up to 70% off throughout our showroom with hundreds of items ready for immediate delivery. It's the Memorial Day sales event going on now at Bacon's Furniture and Bedding. Available now in Sarasota. Nobody beats Bacon's. For your plumbing, electrical, or air conditioning, and services is qualified, and service calls are free, and services.com, A-N-D, services.com. Now, the official Suncoast weather with ABC7 meteorologist John Scalzi. Current air temperature comes in warmer than 24 hours ago at 70 and we'll have lots of sunshine around today. Dew point values have risen also now at 62 compared to yesterday's mid 50s during this time in the morning. Winds are calm. They'll be shifting around a little bit today. Big ridge of high pressure basically sitting right over us when you're in the center of a high pressure ridge. The winds can be very variable, and that's what's happening to us today. They'll be shifting in the afternoon as we start to heat the land and the sea breeze begins to form. That'll keep the coast a bit cooler, but inland temperatures are going to be warm indeed. 65 Wachula, Arcadia, Mayaca, Parrish, Bradenton, 67 Lakewood Ranch, Northport, 62 in Punta Gorda. We have 69 degrees in Venice, 71 in Inglewood, 70 Sarasota, 72 Longboat Key. And for basically the entire west coast of the state of Florida, including the sun coast east of the interstate. The red flag warnings are, fire, are up today, and the uh, fire weather watch is also issued for at least till 8 o'clock tonight. And I bet you we see the same sort of situation occur again tomorrow. It's not much is really changing in this very stuck pattern. Titan radar absolutely quiet across the area right now. Deep south looks good traveling today. Heading to the Atlanta airport, Raleigh, Durham, Charlotte airports. Shouldn't be much of a worry there. Everything looks pretty quiet on radar. We have a couple areas of low pressure kind of riding along the railroad tracks of a stalled frontal boundary. Those low pressure areas stay far away from us as high pressure remains our dominant weather feature today. That brings us again uh, low relative humidity in the afternoons because the temperatures are so warm, but the amount of moisture in the air is slowly increasing. And I think by Friday, you're going to really feel uh, like you're living in the semi-tropics. No rain in the forecast uh, for today anyway. Cooler near the coast, warmer inland. The RPM computer model shows the clouds kind of swirl around the state of Florida, but never really hit us. By Friday, maybe a few more Clouds coming around as a front 
tries to work its way in. It melts away on Saturday with only a 20% chance of showers, but leaves us with a beautiful Mother's Day Sunday. Back to you guys. All right, thank you so much, John. Taking a look <coughs> at traffic this morning, looks like the DeSoto Bridge heading into downtown Bradenton seeing an increase in traffic. Also, State Road 70 in both directions and 41 as you head into South Bradenton towards that Cortez Road area. In Sarasota County, some congestion on 41 as you head towards Clark Road and Clark Road is seeing some congestion towards I-75 and B Ridge Road over towards 41 seeing some congestion as well. A little slowdown in Venice as you head throughout business 41, but other than that, no accidents on the Sun Coast and your morning commute looking pretty easy on this Wednesday. And this hour's health smart French fries, potato chips. Yes. We all know yes. <laughs> some of our favorite foods. But unfortunately, Ray, they're loaded with salt. Uh, it figures, but now a new study examines exactly where a lot of our salt is coming from. Researchers at the University of Minnesota found it is, ready, dining out that contributes to more than two-thirds of our total sodium intake. The next big contributor, salt inherent to the food you choose to eat, salt added to food while cooking at home, and salt added to food at the table came in last. Interesting. I've also heard, you know, sometimes there's a lot of salt in some salad dressings. You may think you're eating healthy on a salad, yeah. but there can be a lot of salt and sugar in those dressings sometimes. It so. sneaks up on yeah. you. Yeah. Still ahead on Good Morning Sun Coast, a Twitter plea from a Nevada teen has reached a new level of viral. <laughs> we'll tell you what honor he received and how social media is reacting after this. There's a whole new way to bank with Achieva Checking Plus. You get new features like cell phone protection for three phones, plus an interest-bearing account. And that's good to know. Discover all the benefits at AchievaCU.com. Achieva, banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. SRQ Performance Parts provides parts and accessories from over 300 manufacturers, so you can get that new manifold, carburetor, gasket, bolt kit, or nitrous oxide system fast. We'll help you beat the competition. Call or visit SRQ Performance Parts online today for all your high-performance parts and advice. Check out My Suncoast Dining on MySuncoast.com for Chef Judy's favorite recipes, restaurant guide, and more. Go to MySuncoast.com slash dining. There are many choices when it comes to AC companies. Our advice? Choose a company that performs employee background checks and is licensed with top manufacturers like Daikin. Daikin offers a 12-year parts and labor limited warranty. For better comfort and value, call Elite Heating and Air. Let me introduce you to the ultimate Florida window. <laughs> Do you feel safer with this or this? You'll be proud too. Going on now, for every two windows you buy, get one more free. Call today. Why settle for less? Get more for your money at Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Nobody beats Subaru in service, quality, vehicle quality, and overall quality. And ALG named Subaru the 2017 top brand for residual value. Now lease the most fuel-efficient vehicle in its class, a new Subaru Outback for just $229 a month, or get 0% financing with complimentary maintenance included. Get more for your money. Go to Sunset Subaru in Sarasota. Everyone loves a bright and cheerful smile. Not everyone can find the dental care they need and can afford. Now there's a place nearby where anyone can receive professional quality dental care at an affordable cost. The LeCom School of Dental Medicine in Lakewood Ranch is now accepting patients. You will receive your care in comfortable, state-of-the-art treatment rooms. To schedule your appointment, please call the LeCom Dental Group Practices, 941-405-1600. We will be happy to see you smiling again. The official salon of ABC7. For the last decade, SNS Motorsports of Sarasota has built custom high-performance vehicles for demanding clients worldwide. They're now bringing their 50-plus years of combined build expertise to the parts business. SRQ Performance Parts is your one-stop shop for all your performance parts and accessories. There's a whole new way to bank with Achieva Checking Plus. You get new features like full ID theft protection, and that's good to know. Discover all the benefits at AchievaCU.com. 
Achieva, banking for good. Achieva Credit Union is federally insured by the NCUA. Oh, yeah. Pretty shot of Sarasota Bay looking toward Longboat Key on this Wednesday morning. Beautiful sunrise there. Looks a little bluish, light blue and purple there across the horizon. Almost pastel, kind of, yes. as our uh, director said. Yes, looking off the 10th Street boat Beautiful. right there. All right, 6.54 right now. All right, let's take a look at our top local stories here on the Suncoast this morning. Sarasota elected Jennifer Ahern Koch and Hagen Brody to the city commission. They'll be sworn in on Friday. They'll replace Commissioner Suzanne Atwell, who chose not to run again after two terms, and Susan Chapman, who lost after one term. And Northport has elected Jill Luke with 53% of the vote. She'll also be sworn in on Friday. And it was an 88-year-old father and 64-year-old daughter who tragically died off the Venice jetty on Monday. They drove off the van into the water. Still no word exactly what happened, but there is a press conference later on this morning to help sort things out. All right, taking a look at Suncoast traffic this morning. The DeSoto Bridge as you head into downtown Bradenton seeing an increase in traffic. Also 301 in both directions and State Road 70 heading east. Cortez and 41 seeing an increase in traffic as well. I-75 not seeing any slowdowns as you head throughout Sarasota County, but there is some congestion on 41 as it merges into 301. Also some congestion on uh, Clark Road as you head towards I-75. And Venice looks like some congestion in its normal spots on Business 41, but that is all on your Wednesday morning, John. Yeah, pretty nice across the area today, but very warm, low humidity, and most importantly, the red flag warnings and high fire danger are uh, in effect for our area throughout today and probably tomorrow as well. Okay, this story cracks me up. A Twitter plea from a Nevada teen for a year of free chicken nuggets from Wendy's is now the most ret retweeted post of all time. Carter Wilkinson asked the fast food chain on Twitter how many retweets it would take for him to get free chicken nuggets for a year. Wendy's replied, they said 18 million. And even though Wilkinson <laughs> has not hit that 18 million mark, the exchange has moved past Ellen DeGeneres' viral tweet from the 2014 Oscars with more than 3.4 million retweets. Wendy says even though Wilkinson didn't hit the goal, he has earned free chicken nuggets for a whole year. I'd say he helped Wendy's a great deal with his publicity. <laughs> yeah. He got up to, what, like 12 million or yeah, something, something like that? Like that. Free Frosties, too. Out of time, folks. See you tomorrow. All right. Stick around. Good morning, America. Coming up next.